Well, I wanted to bring some attention to something involving this nuclear power plant in Louisiana. And it, it's events like these they never like to talk about in the mainstream. And you'll be hard-pressed to even get any details about them. A lot of times these days, they use specific wording like venting. And that means there was a release of radiation. And they don't say there was a release of radiation. They just use the words venting in a procedure, and that's what it means. And only if you're hip to the terminology can you see what's really going on here. And what we've discovered is that there was a scram situation that took place on the 9th where they say lightning struck this facility and it had a full main steam isolation and a division two balance of plant isolation that took place during the scram and then they had to trip the feed pumps and all the rest of this process went through and this is where it all sits they said that all the rods were inserted into the core the plant was initially cooled down using safety relief valves okay this was on the ninth now when doing some looking here and going back just a little bit further you will see that on the sixth and they've got it listed as non-emergency. And that's because there's not like a, a Fukushima meltdown. But you can see they have a potential uncontrolled radiation release. Sure, none, none of the local news agencies spoke about this, said a word, put out a health alert to anybody downwind. Nothing. Nothing. This would be, you, you'll be lucky if you find information like this out there pertaining to some of the stuff. But these are events that are going down all across the country. And if you don't stay on top of it, if you're not looking and paying attention, they're going to get away with doing all types of stuff like more releases. And people are just not going to know. And I think everyone has a right to know. So this Riverbend facility specifically is one to pay attention to here if they've had a release already they could do it again and it raises questions of the plant itself the way that the electric storm took it out they say lightning struck it there was grounding questions and, and everything else but just like with the event we saw down in new mexico at the whip facility when the roof caved in and there's still something big going on down there they had a press conference and the room was empty there was no mainstream media to even show up to report on it. Just a couple locals, independent media, that was it. So don't expect your local news down here to be telling you much about this unless people force it and make them speak on this. I'll leave a link. Keep you guys updated with more as I come across it. This has been Dabu7. Peace.